Hi, and welcome to Stamp with Jenny. Today I'm going to share with you this fun Dragonfly Garden easel card that holds a calendar for the upcoming year. I'm using the suite of products that include the Dragonfly Garden and the Coordinating Punch. You'll find these items in our January, June mini catalog. So let me set this aside and I'll show you how to get started. I'm going to start this project with my Whisper White panel and my Mossy Meadow ink. I'm going to ink up this beautiful floral image and I am going to stamp it right along the left edge of this panel. Once I have that done, I can set that aside and bring in my sentiment panel. Now for my sentiment panel, I am going to once again stamp that beautiful floral image on the left hand side and I'm putting this oh about a half inch in and about a quarter inch down. Once I have that in place I can bring in my sentiment and stamp that in the mossy metal also. And I'm going to space this on that open space on the right. I'm going to bring in my Whisper White scrap piece of cardstock now and stamp my dragonfly image in the mossy meadow. This dragonfly happens to have this solid body. I'm going to ink up my fuzzy wing image here, stamp off and stamp. That's going to give me a little softer color on his wings. And once I've got that done, I can bring in my wing Estella and just run it over the wings lightly just to add a bit of shimmer to it. Now be aware this is wet so it may take a, a little of that color up into the brush so you'll want to clean it after by simply running it across your grid paper. I hope you can see that shimmer it's just lovely. I'm going to slide this into my punch and it looks like it's a little high so I'm going to cut this off on the bottom so my punch will fit in there with no problem. I'm going to slide my punch in. That looks much better. I can cut out a little bit more here because my punch is not going in quite as far as I'd like it to. There we go. And punch. The last thing I'm going to stamp is my signature panel for the back, and I think I'm going to add a little dragonfly image here. I'm not going to add my sentiment right at the moment. I can wait to do that depending on what I'm going to do with my card. And I'm going to do that same process with the wings, stamping off and then adding a bit of Wink Estella to them just for a little pop of color. And I'll show you what I do with this panel at the end of the project. And at this point, I'm ready to score my Mossy Meadow cardstock for my easel calendar. And I'm going to bring it in and set it on my scoreboard and score it at the two and three quarters inch mark and then at the halfway point of five and a half. And I'm finished with my board. We're ready to assemble. And the first thing I'm going to do is use my bone folder and score on these score lines so that they're nice and tight. Once I've got that done, I can set this aside and get ready to build my card front. I'm going to bring my mossy metal panel in here and adhere my bumblebee panel onto that. And then I'm going to adhere down this beautiful wildflower image right in the center of that bumblebee. Okay, now that I have that done, I'm ready to attach my calendar. I've got my two by three inch calendar for the new year and a piece of bumblebee. So first I'm going to adhere this bumblebee and I'm going to slide this right in the corner here, leaving just a small margin around it on the right and the bottom. And then I can add my calendar right on top of that. Now I've given it just a real tiny margin of color because I didn't want to hide too much of that beautiful wildflower image. There we go. Whoops. And of course on a calendar like this, it's heavy, so you want to use either your multi-purpose, your tear and tape, or even our stamp and seal plus so that it's nice and firm. At this point, I can add my dragonfly that I did simply by turning him over and popping him up. Now, if you'd like to curl his wings before you adhere him, you can to give him a little lift, but I'm okay with just popping him up for this project. 
and I'm going to tilt him a little bit there and add him. Isn't that beautiful? I love the shimmer on his wings. The next thing I'm going to do is start building my sentiment panel. So I'm going to bring in my bumblebee and this beautiful designer series paper. I'm going to be using the um, dandelion side here with both colors to make that pop against the base. And I'm going to lay that on top. And then I'm going to add this sentiment panel also. And I'm going to adhere that down right on top of that designer series paper. I love the way that color just pops up from underneath. Okay, to build your easel card, now that I have my two pieces built, I am going to bring in this base. Now this base is going to sound set up like this, and so this is the area I'm going to want to adhere. The easiest way to do that is adding your adhesive to the bottom here, and then simply laying this panel right on top of it, lining up the edges to make sure everything is nice and tight. By doing just the adhesive on the lower and then allowing it to dry, you've got this really quick and easy easel that swings up. Now that I've got that in place, I'm ready to add the sentiment paddle. Now the trick to a easel card is having a little bit of lift. And my sentiment panel is going to do that, so I have something that will hold that easel in place. I'm adding some dimensionals to the back, and I like to add quite a few of these because I really want that to pop and maintain its height. I'm going to remove these covers, and then I'm ready to tilt this up and I'm going to place this on the bottom of my card along the edge. Now this needs to be in the center so that I've got even margins. And I'm gonna lay that down. Isn't that quick and easy? And as you can see, that easel slides right into place. And for a last little fun element, I'm going to use one of these ladybug embellishments. I just love them. They've got a little dip in the center, perfect for holding on to our mini glue dots, or even a mini dimensional if you would prefer. And I'm gonna set him right there on the mini glue dot, and then pop him right here between the sentiment and the flower, and press down. So that's finished. I'm ready to add that signature panel that I stamped earlier and told you I would show you where it goes. So I'm simply going to add a little adhesive onto the back of this and flip the entire card over and place this right on the back. Now, if you prefer, you can wait to do this part until you're ready to send so you can stamp the sentiment you would like or sign it the way you would like. It makes it a little easier since this is kind of a bumpy project. So let me show you the easel again. There you go. I just love these kind of cards. They're quick and easy and wonderful as a little gift during the holidays or any time of year. If you would like to make one of these projects too, you'll need the Dragonfly Garden Stamp Set in its coordinating bundle that when you purchase as a bundle, you'll save 10%. And of course, the Little Ladybug Trinkets. You'll find all these items in the suite of products found in our new 2021 January June mini catalog. And of course, if you don't have a demonstrator and would like a mini catalog, email me your name, address, and phone number, and I'll be happy to send you one. Thanks for joining me.